Hi, I'm Devin. I'm Mike Fenn. And today we're presenting BSTEE, our system for securing Bluetooth Internet of Things data. The motivation for our project comes from the increasing number of IoT devices in the world. According to projection, by 2020, there's going to be 40 billion devices connected to the Internet. Due to the energy consumption and cost issue, a lot of them are only going to be encrypted with very limited computation power. These IoT devices raise huge security concern. And due to their low computation power, a lot of them are not going to be able to implement sufficient security feature to defend themselves from potential hacks. So the goal for our system is to utilize the computation power of mobile phone and to securely encrypt sensitive data collected from Bluetooth IoT devices using an Android phone. A common paradigm we see in IoT applications is what we have here. We have a sensor that's gathering some information and a cloud that's necessary to analyze that. And this is true for something like voice assistants, Siri, or Alexa. And a common third element to these systems is a phone. And this mainly facilitates the data transfer from that sensor to the cloud. And this is necessary for systems with something like a smartwatch where the watch itself does not have uh, internet capabilities and must go through a phone to get to that outer internet. And the problem with this addition of the phone into the system is that Android OS is not secure. And because of this addition of the operating system into the system, we have uh, at a certain point within the operating system, the data from the Bluetooth device will eventually be in a plain text form which means that certain operating systems and low-level file system hacks will be able to get at this data. Uh, so this poses a threat, uh, not only on the phone, but also if the data is not encrypted before being sent over the internet connection, there's also possible man-in-the-middle attacks there. And so this is a problem, but also it gives us an opportunity. Because the resources of the phone are so much greater than the embedded device itself, we have the potential to implement some more complex cryptographic methods within the phone itself. And so this brings us to the question, can we use this phone for data security without trusting the operating system running on that phone? And can we, by proxy, solve the second problem of securely transferring the data from the device to the cloud? And the answer is that yes, we can, and that's what we've done. We've created a system that will encrypt the data on the phone before handing it over to the Android operating system. And because we're not decrypting this data before it reaches the cloud, it'll also be safe over that internet connection. And the way we actually do this encryption is using a separate operating system known as Opti. It's, it is a flavor of trusted execution environment. And this is a system-wide hardware isolated secure operating system that will also run on the phone. And currently its common uses are for storing things like bank passwords or fingerprint uh, information, as well as conducting secure boot. Uh, as you can see on the right, it has different uh, applications it comes with, like secure storage and cryptography functions that we use to implement our cryptography. Here's an overview of the BST system. In this case, an IoT device is recorded some blue voice data and send it over to our mobile phone over the Bluetooth protocol. When the data reaches the phone, it will be directly sent down to the Opti subsystem and in there, this raw data will go through a series of crypto applications implemented by ourselves and get encrypted before it reaches Android's own storage. We chose AES for the encryption of actual data due to its fast processing. When the raw data gets into the AES trusted application, the trusted application will generate an AES, random AES key, encrypts the data before it sent back to the Android's file system. Now you want to ask, how do we send this key securely to the cloud for later encryption? Here's when the asymmetrical encryption comes to play. During every boot up, we will send a public key to our mobile phone and this RSA public key will be securely stored in the Opti's secure key storage. 
After the encryption, the AES key will be sent to the RSA trusted application, and in there, the public key will be retrieved, used to encrypt this AES key before send it up to the Android. And at this stage, both the encrypted data and the encrypted AES key can be either securely stored inside Android's file system or be uploaded to this our secure server for later decryption and processing. The first demo we want to go through is a text file transfer that we did. On the right, you can see the initial text file, which has some sensitive information like credit card number and SSN. And we took this file from an embedded device, transferred it over Bluetooth to our BST-enabled device, where it automatically got encrypted and then uploaded to our cloud. You can see we did a side-by-side -side with our system on and with it disabled. And on the left, within the file system of the Android phone, you can see without our system that it is totally plain text and easily readable. And thus, if there are any file system compromises, this data would be exploitable. Whereas on the right, it's totally encrypted and not uh, and totally safe. Now we use the wire, the packet sniffing technique, on the internet connection between the Android phone uh, and the cloud. And on the left, without our system, you could see the data would be transferred plain text again. In that right column, you can read all the data still. Versus on the right, we have it totally encrypted and not readable at all. And so we can prove that if we go to our cloud front end, uh, we can view the later decrypted file to show that the, the data stays intact. If we go to consumer info and open it up, we get that we have all the data back, proving that the data is uh, the same as what we started with. Next, we did an audio demo. Here, because I'm so forgetful, I made, I told my voice assistant to make a note of what my bank password was. Make a note that my bank password is ABC787. Here, the data was recorded and then sent over Bluetooth to our BST-enabled device. And then we'll show that on the file system itself, uh, the data is totally encrypted. Here's a malicious hacker that is has access to our file system and attempts to play back the note that we saved and you can see as we zoom in that the file is considered corrupted because it's all encrypted so it can't be parsed as a regular mp3 file and then if we go to our website now again you can see the intact you can see the intact output and decryption of that to get back the original sound bite make a note that bank password is abc787 And so in conclusion, why is our system important? It makes IoT data more secure by utilizing the resources of a phone without actually trusting the operating system that phone is using. And we've proven that we can establish, establish this secure pipeline all the way from an embedded device to a secure cloud while keeping the data totally intact. And as we said in the motivation, due to the to this exponential growth of IoT devices, security is going to become a huge concern and our system can help solve that. Thank you. Thank you.